Hi Year 7, welcome to our first online drawing tutorial. Um, today we are going to draw some 3D shapes. Okay, it's part of lesson 1. Um, lesson 2 will be shading them in. So I'd like to go and get a pencil, a ruler, a rubber and a sheet of A4 paper. We'll start off by dividing the page into four. Okay, so I'm going to measure along here. It's 21 centimeters. Half of 21 is um, 10.5. So I'm just putting a little marker. I'm going to do the same towards the bottom of the page too. So 21 and 10.5. I then can draw a line, making sure that my line goes through both of those points. Draw on that really lightly. I'm then going to measure on this side. There, it's just shy of 30 centimetres, so we'll pretend it is 30 centimetres. And I'm going to measure 15 on that side and then 15 on this side. And then we're going to draw a horizontal line across the middle of our page, making sure we cut through both of those points. So you'll have an A4 page divided into four. Okay, um, feel free to pause and restart the video as and when you're ready to draw. The first shape we're going to do is a cone and we're going to work in this top box here. So I'm not starting on my line, I'm going to move up ever so slightly and I am going to measure seven centimetres and draw a horizontal line seven centimetres. Now I need to find the middle point. Now the middle of seven is three and a half. So I'm just going to make a little marker just right there. Okay, I'm now going to draw a vertical line. And we're going to go for 10 centimeters, I think. So I get to my middle point and I'm drawing a vertical line. It now looks like I've got an upside down T shape. So from the top here, so this point here, we're going to use our ruler to draw those up, line them up, and again the same on the other side. Okay, and we should end up with a triangle that looks like it's been split in half. Now I find this easier now to turn my page onto the side. From the centre point here, I am going to measure one centimetre down. Okay, so I've got a little marker here. Now, holding my pencil quite far back, and I'm going to make this motion with my hand. I'm going to line up from this point here. I'm going to touch this point and then come back in. So really, really lightly, just in case we make any mistakes, we can rub them out. You are going to join up the bottom of your shape to make it look more three-dimensional. Okay, I'm quite happy with that line. Once you're happy with that and your shape looks something like that, take your rubber and get rid of the guidelines, the T-shape that went through the middle. Get rid of that. Okay. And there we have our cone. And like I said, next week, I will show you how to shade it in to make it look a lot more three-dimensional. So we'll move on to our second shape now. Our second shape, we're going to draw a cylinder. We'll start off exactly the same way as we did with the cone. So a little bit up from your line that you've drawn. And we'll do the same measurements to make it easier. So seven centimetres, marking the halfway point at three and a half. Okay. We'll then draw a vertical line and we'll go 10 centimetres again, keep it the same, so 10 centimetres. And then we will put our ruler back on three and a half at the top of that vertical line and we'll measure to seven centimetres. Okay, now it looks like we've got a capital I. So draw up these sides here, join them up to make a rectangle shape that looks like it's been split in half. Okay, same same goes for this shape we'll, as the last shape. We'll measure and put a marker one centimetre below the centre point. 
Again, I like to turn it to the side to be comfortable. Move your hand quite far down your pencil and lightly go from the corner to the middle point where you've put your marker and back in again. Okay, and when you're happy with your line, firm it up. Okay, now we need to do the same on the top, but we can see the top of the shape this time. So I'm going to put my ruler on the centre line and I've put it on one centimetre. I'm now going to put a marker one centimetre above and one centimetre below. Okay, two little markers like that. Again, I'm turning it to the side because that's how I'm most comfortable. I've moved my hand down the pencil and I'm going from that corner there. I'm going to touch my marker that I've made and then I'm going to come back in again. And then I'm going to turn my page round because my hand arches this way much more easily. And I'm going from the corner to my marker and then back in. And firm up your line once you're happy. Okay, so your shape must look something like that. And then we're going to get the rubber and rub out the guidelines. So get rid of those. This shape here that we've made is called an ellipse. Okay. You can't see the full circle because we're looking at it side on a bit like we were drawing a mug. So there's shape two done. Now for shape three, we are going to draw a cube. So you're going to focus your drawing on this bit down here, the bottom left hand corner. So I'm going to do a little square, five centimetres by five centimetres. By five centimetres by five centimetres. Okay, so I've drawn a square. I now need to put a vanishing point, which I'm going to put use as in right in the centre of my page. This here is my vanishing point. So from these, these three corners, we're going to draw lines to our vanishing point. So we'll start off with the top left corner. So we put our ruler on the vanishing point top left corner of our square and lightly you're going to draw your line to the vanishing point. Then take the top right corner of your square and you're going to draw a line from the top right corner to your vanishing point. Then we're taking the bottom right hand corner, draw a line to the vanishing point. So we should end up with something that's looking like that. Keeping your ruler vertical, you're going to come back. Okay, can you see that? We'll do that again. Let's line it up there. Keep it vertical. So it's parallel to this line. We are drawing a line here. Okay, this line is parallel to this line. Okay. Same applies for this side. Put your ruler on the top of your box and join it up to meet your vertical line. And this line is parallel with this line. Okay. So now we can get rid of those guidelines. And we are left with a cube. looks a little bit something like that. The final shape we're going to do is a sphere. Now we're going to start off with a square. So I'm going to do mine eight centimetres by eight centimetres. Okay. By eight centimetres. Right. When you're happy, okay, again, holding your pencil quite far back and turning the paper so that you're most comfortable, you are going to round off 
these square edges. Now this will take a few goes, you won't get it right first time. So make sure you're just sketching really, really lightly. Okay. Okay, and not anyone. Take your time. Okay, and keep going over your lines. If you're not happy, keep sitting back and checking it to make sure it looks as even as you can make it on all four sides. Then take your rubber and rub out your guidelines. And there we have it. Four shapes ready for shading. So we will show you how to shade in next next week's lesson. Okay, thanks for watching and good luck.